Let's add a photo into our Blackboard course. So I'm going to scroll down into my lecture information. Now we're going to be heading into a module item, but anywhere you can edit your Blackboard content by going into, for example, the edit menu and arrive at the content editor, you can add a photo. But I specifically want to add mine into my lecture content. So I'm going to come in here into my light lecture. And then again, we'll find this menu and go into edit. And here we are at the content editor. So I just need to add my cursor wherever I want to add my photo. So I don't want to add it up there. I'm going to come down to the end of this paragraph and hit enter. I'm going to hit enter twice. And then we will come over here to this plus button. If you're not seeing this, you might have your menu hidden. So if your menu only looks like this and you don't have all of the options, come over here to the kebab menu, click on it, and locate the add content button. So I'm going to click on that. And so we can either insert from the content collection, and that is a group of files that you already have in your Blackboard course, but we'll insert it from my own computer. So I'm going to go to insert from local files. And so I have this saved in my course content folder. So I'm going to come in here to my module or week one information, and I've saved my photo in my lecture and resources folder within the first module. And here it is. So I'm going to select that and we'll hit open. And whoa, this photo is huge. So we need to take this down, otherwise it's gonna take over your student's entire screen. So we can either come click on this and when you notice the blue bounding box and then the handles on the side, you can click and drag and resize your image and let go and it'll snap into place. This is a much more reasonable size for my photo. You don't want this taking over the student's entire screen or they will not see that there's additional reading that they have to read below the image. So with that, I'm gonna hit submit. And my photo is now added into my lecture content. Let's quickly dive in and look at how to add alternate text so that your image is ADA compliant for your course. So we'll come back in to edit. And I'm gonna scroll back down to my my image, and so I'm gonna right click on it, and it simply says image. Click on that, and now we have room for our alternate description. So I'm gonna quickly type in a description, and you basically wanna describe your image in as few words as possible, but also make sure it clearly explains the photo. And once you're done, hit save. And now we have alternate text attached to our photos so that we're ADA compliant and we also have the photo in our course. I'm going to hit submit one more time and lock all those changes into place. And there we have it and you can see with the green score that we are good to go.